Playing Rust as a solo can be difficult, but this challenge that I attempted was just outright insane. I decided to build on the spawn beach. Unaware of what was around me, I braced myself for day one, but a question still remained. Could I survive Vanilla Rust? The time was 7am on day two. I knew I didn't have long, so I made the most of my time and attempted a morning raid. Day two. Hello, hello game. I don't think we're raided. I think we're all good. It's currently uh, very early in the morning and I really want to get some raids done. Definitely need uh, need some sulfur for raids. That's the only problem here. Welcome back to another Camcom video. And today's video is a different pace to the previous. You see, it's early hours in the morning and I took a few hours on day one. So I've got some catching up to do. Here she is, here's my baby. She did really well on day one, I'm not raided. It kinda looks a bit of a mess at the moment guys, but trust me, when this base is done, this spawn beach base is gonna be absolutely tanky. Definitely gonna get some interest. Despite it being early in the morning, the server was still alive with new players looking for a home. I had to farm the correct amount of sulfur while also being on my guard for other players. Ooh, slapped. Okay, we're loading up. Operation Morning Saturade is officially underway. Using my tier two to craft an ice pick, I made fast work at the nodes close to my base. But the question still remained in my head. Would I be able to evict some neighbors who caused so much grief for me yesterday? Okay, a wooden door, that is that is promising. We can uh, continue mollying through. Okay, I'm getting hit markers, tier one. All right, a sheet door. Good job I uh, farmed the sulfur. We can, uh, we can blow through this and finish the raid. Returning back to my base, I collected four pre-made satchels and crafted a Molotov just in case. This was my first raid of the day and surely my first eviction served. Okay, we're looking good. The coast looks clear. I guess it's uh, time for adios amigo. Alright, I don't want any dodgy satchels. I only need good satchels. Alright, last door then we're in. Please, Rust Gods, please, make it a quick one. I'm a, I'm too paranoid. Okay, we're in, we're in. Uh, slap, slap the, uh, slap the door down first. Oh, TC, okay. Door's down. Oh. Couple of, a uh, couple of kits in this base. Mel in the furnace. Okay, all I have to do now is make it safely home. I'm so scared. Just in case, just in case. Despite a successful first raid of the day, I knew this was only one of many targets I had to achieve. However, farming sulfur isn't the all about rust. So I decided in the meantime to focus my energy into the base, a good opportunity to do so while the groups and clans were still asleep. Okay, I'm cooking, right? I want this bit to be like a little bit of a sky farm. It's not quite a sky farm, um, but I'm desperate for cloth and I need to grow my own hemp. So I've got to get my groove on. Wish me luck.
Okay, that is the hemp farm done, which is a tick on the box. I'm gonna plant the seed soon, but in the meantime, I'm gonna need lots of metal. I need garage doors, I need to make sure I can craft lots of SARS, so it's back to the grind. We are looking good, but I'm worried that we're looking too good. Um, I know that sometimes it gets easy in Rust, and then sometimes it switches up. I was building plenty of resources by being as productive as I could, farming as much nodes as possible, working on my base, and catching new players off guard but this good run of momentum surely had to come to an end. I think I found my good hemp clone. I mean, it's got a red dot. Uh, let me know in the comments if that is a good clone. I think it's a decent one but I'm gonna use that to get plenty of cloth. All right, I'm gonna craft uh, four mollies and go check this base out. Okay, okay game, you're trolling me. At least that's uh, one neighbor evicted from the area. And look at the nakeds just running in there. There's no loot, guys. There's no loot. The morning had passed and the server pub started to grow. The hemp farm began to flourish and would play an important part for when I set up my first vending machine. However, in the meantime, I was in need of explosives to continue my evictions in my local area. So I headed to the train tunnels to catch a train to Millie Tunnels. However, I wouldn't get very far. There's people here. I heard a train pull up. I gotta get there fast before they, uh, before they pull away. I'm pretty sure they can't hear me at the moment. I could be wrong. Oh my God, he's right. I'm so confused. I am so confused. There has to be more of them. There has to be. There cannot just be one guy shooting randomly. I've got to push for the body, but I can't. I can't even see anyone else. This is so confusing. Oh my God, the amount of bullets. What the hell was this guy thinking? This is absolutely insane. Oh, so he does has he does have friends. Holy hell! I knew it. I knew it was too good to be true. Here we go, ready for a PvP fight, and they're pushing me. What? What the hell was that? What have I just ran into? That was what? Where? I'm so I'm so confused. An unfortunate short trip reminded me of the high pop server I was playing. Instead of attempting a trip number two, I cooked what sulfur I had and upgraded the base in preparation for raid number three. This base was owned by three players from day number one and had caused me all kinds of problems. They had also a shop selling items for sulfur, so I was going to raid them before they raided me. Okay, this is the base here. 
It's, uh, it's small because they didn't play much on day one, but as you can see, they're selling stuff in the vending machine still. So I reckon just a 10 satchel raid through probably this wall here and and we're, we're good, we're good to go. As I was waiting on the sofa cooking for the raid, I decided to take a trip to the supermarket in hopes of getting some scrap for some much needed BPs. However, not far into my journey, I would unintentionally evict another neighbor. Dead body outside the base. And he's coming out. Ooh, I could go deep here. I could go deep, just need him to open up one more time. Wait, there's no lock on the door. What the hell? There's... No way. No freaking way. TC unlocked as well. Oh my god, you're trolling. No way. No way. I, I need to seal this. There's so many bags in here. Going deep on a trio base, I was rushing against the clock. With one player currently online, that meant there was two others who would be running back to the base. Okay, I've got the wooden door. The wooden door is mine. How do I get out? How do I get out of here? Think, think, think. Okay, first of all, I need to make another door. The only problem is I, they don't have enough metal to make a door. I started using the trio's furnace to cook some metal ore in hopes I could fully secure the base and make it my own. Oh, they're back. They're back. They're not happy. They're not happy. Oh no, I need this metal quick. I can't even make a metal uh, a wooden double door. With the original base owners unable to break the wooden door, I waited until the furnace had finally given me enough metal for a double sheet door. But still, the problem remained of getting the loot back to my base. I've got it, Dropbox. 285 scrap to get a Dropbox and I can transfer the loot out of this base. The only problem is I don't have the scrap here, so I'm going to have to go back to, uh, to my base. Okay, I have enough scrap, that's good. Just need to research the Dropbox. I researched the Dropbox at my main base and rushed back with building materials to add a small base to the side where I could safely transfer the loot out of the trio's base and evict another neighbor. And that is how you get rid of a trio who have built next door to you. That was a uh, that was pretty damn lucky. And another name off my list. It's not much, but it'll do for now. Now I've just got to make it home, home safe and sound. Well, I was meant to go to supermarket to get some scrap, but instead I went deep on a trio, and I've got some uh, got some components and some stone. I still have another run to do. But I'll uh, I'll do that in a bit because it's only it's only a little bit of stone. Ladies and gentlemen, you would be proud of me. I have taken the advice from my last video and just found a nice a nice uh, little crop and uh, decided to just grow that instead. I uh, I'm gonna get some cloth soon. I can't wait. You know what? I should make the the thumbnail title of this video some kind of like eviction notice because I'm I'm crafting mollies and I'm I'm going again. I see wooden bases. It's still fairly early fairly early players aren't quite on and i'm just i'm just getting rid of people i was sick of people yesterday and i'm just getting rid of them from the area with the sea and road nearby crude oil was not a concern so making the most out of day two on rust i continued my raiding spree with molotovs in hope of finding more loot to help me keep the momentum going but later in the video not all raids would be that simple Wait a minute, there's no tool cupboard in there. I've been duped. Oh, oh no. It's At least it's only one Molotov I've wasted. But what the hell? Okay, the wood is, uh, the wood's run out of TC, but the stone hasn't. So I'm gonna full send it, baby. Oh, I've been robbed again. I've been robbed again. And the game is killing me with these Molotov raids. Holy hell. Well, I have one more, and there's still plenty of uh, wood bases around, so I'll uh, I'll just try and find something. Python guy shooting me from freaking Narnia. What the hell? 
This guy will make a shot. No chance. Get out of here. Oh, he's got friends. Okay, I've been jumped. One guy shooting me from Narnia and another one or two looping round to kill me. What the hell is this game? Right, I'm, I'm going back with a DB because I'm, I'm pretty sure um, the Python guy was with the, uh, the, the other guy. I don't know how many there are, but I'm not, I'm not throwing guns at pointless PvP. I'm just, I'm just not that good at the game. On my way back to where the group killed me, I would discover something that would be a problem. You see, the whole point of this challenge was building on the spawn beach, a place where we expect it to be quiet and mostly primitive PvP. However, with nowadays on Rust, big groups are now building in these areas for easy wipes, and this is exactly what I witnessed. Yeah, there is some absolute madness going on here right now. I think it's an online raid, and I think there's like a duo defending, but I'm not sure how many they're defending against. But bearing in mind, people, this is... This is on the freaking spawn beach. This is right on the beach. Yeah, there are so many. There's three at least. Three at least of them. And four now. I think there's four. There's, there's probably more. It's probably a group of like five strong. Oh yeah, here, there we go. Look at how many ants are running around back there. Jesus Christ. This game is crazy. This game is actually crazy. I, if you're a five man, go build it. Go build an Arctic or something. There's just lighthouse around the corner and a massive base. It just makes no sense whatsoever. And I'm dead to a Revy. So out of everyone who's there fighting and I'm waiting for my perfect chance, the Revy decides to kill me. Yeah, this is, this is just crazy. Not only have I got to fight a five, six, 17 man, but there's also grubs who, uh, who are gonna kill me as well. It makes he's seen me. I'm pretty sure he saw me then. Yeah, GG. I'm not going back to that. I don't care what anyone says. That is a waste of time. On the brighter side of things, look at this. I get to pick my first crop. And I'm getting quite a bit of cloth. Jesus Christ. Okay. Nearly 800 cloth. Holy. That is, uh, that is crazy. I'm going to plant these down. And then we'll continue uh, continue growing. And eventually, once I have a bit of cloth, I want to set up a set up a shop. With my local area now fully awake, I was worried I had missed the time to raid my neighbours. I had the sulfur ready for the ten satchel raid, but I decided to postpone it and continue my quest for scrap. This time, travelling to the ferry terminal. Oh, I always get worried when walking uh, when walking past bases. Uh, with with uh, with big roof camping towers. Oh my god. Okay. Jesus Christ. Get away. Get away. Wait, he hits me. I'm on a platform. What the hell? Well, well, well. It sounds like there's some fighting going on in Ferry Terminal. And I see a guy stood right on the top there, by the by the ladder at the top. I wonder if he goes to that fight. Maybe I can just catch him off guard. He's running, he's running for the fight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him. It's gonna scare the shit out of him. Oh my, oh he fell off. He might be dead, I'm not too sure. Well, well, well. Let me know in the comments if, if that was a, oh he had quite a, he had quite a bit. I'm actually gonna deeper. I need the tech trash. Let me know in the comments if you think that was my kill or that was a, that was nature's kill. I actually have the night vision BP, so with the tech trash he's just given me, I'm going to craft night vision, go back and clean up the fight. That is that is the plan. This is solo class, ultra high IQ, devastating thinking brain power. Yeah, that should that should do it. Using my high solo IQ brain power, I decided to return with night vision in order of securing a few more guns. Are we gaming now? We're turning Splinter Cell, baby. We're turning Tom Cruise Splinter Cell. Hello. This could be the guy who just won the prim fights, and it is. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's the leftovers, anyway. Here's another one. Let's see what this guy has. Absolutely nothing. I mean, it's not much, but as a solo, I will take anything. I left with a SAR, came back with a SAR, extra, 
Couple revies, couple DBs, so I'll uh, I'll take it. Nice uh, nice grub weapons. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this base is just looking so clean. The yellow, the beach, the tower going up, it is it is looking so cool. Um, I'm probably now gonna take the chance to set up a shop while while the cloth is now is now coming in. We can finally finally get that part under construction, and then comes uh, the raid of the neighbours. With the base further upgraded and the shop set up, this wipe was fully underway. Cloth was growing again and I prepped myself for the 10 satchel raid. With the server awake, this could be a tricky raid to complete, but one which was hopefully worth it. Otherwise, I would be in trouble. Okay, I am gonna sell garage doors, electric furnace, um, and some cloth and just see how that goes. The server pop is like 600 to 700, so I, I presume there'll be plenty of people wanting to uh, to buy my stuff, but we'll just we'll have to wait and see how this shop does. I always love doing shops; they always make me so much scrap. Five hundred cloth for one hundred scrap seems like a good deal. We'll we'll see how that goes, and maybe we'll just uh, maybe we'll up it or maybe we'll lower it. I'm not too sure yet. In the meantime, I've got a I've got a raid on my mind. I like to think AFK Bank would be proud of me. I like to think so. Now for the scary part. As a solo, raiding can be intense. No one to watch your back and you only have one life. Unable to collect enough scrap for the auto turret, it was all down to me. With the neighbors not yet logged on, I crafted all my GP into 10 satchels and began to prepare. For your average solo player, this was going to be a challenge and a challenge it was. I decided to do the raid at night time. Okay. This is the target just across here. That's how close they are to my base. And I need these guys gone. They should have sulfur in their shop. But I haven't, I haven't seen them all day. And I won't lie. I am worried they've, they've just rage quit. I'm not sure. This is going to be tough. In hopes of securing the raid further, I decided to use a previously raided base as a backup plan. Keeping a kit in the base just in case things went wrong. However... The server was more alive than I originally estimated. Python guy right there. I know I should be prepping for the raid, but I really want to go for that. Oh my god, I'm awful at the game. And they're everywhere. Holy hell. They're actually everywhere. What? What is this? These guys have bows everywhere. There's, there must be about six of them in that base. They're just coming out of the, the holes in the floor. Oh my god, there's, there's thousands. 
There's thousands of naked DB bow kids. How, how am I going to do this raid with all that there? Jesus, help me. I didn't even get the python. I came back with a load of bows. What the hell? I've got arrows sticking out of me left, right and centre. Jesus Christ. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm just going to send the raid anyway. I think I'm just going to full send it. And from preparing to raid a neighbour, the tides had changed, as I was now the one preparing to defend from a raid. Okay, looks like I'm getting raided. Okay. Uh, I don't own this door, so that looks like... This looks like it's going to be a problem. Despite this being the base I raided at the start of the video, I still needed it as a flank base for my originally planned raid, so I had to defend. Here they come, they're coming through. Oh, they're in, they're in, here come the boys. And I'm hit already. There's one dead. Maybe two, I'm not too sure. They got guns. Get the hell out of my base. Yeah, eat that one. Eat my dust. Boys, we've been breached. We've been breached. They're in. They're in. Oh, no. I'm going to try and seal with the, with the wooden door. Right, I need to seal. need to seal. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, okay, game. What the hell? All I wanted to do was just raid someone else, and these guys came by the thousands. Well, uh, I guess they've given up, but I'm pretty sure that when I attempt this raid, these guys are going to swarm over. It's going to be absolutely horrible for me. Holy hell. This is a big mistake. Just literally after fighting 3,000 bow kids, I'm literally just going to send it. I don't, I don't care. I've been putting off this raid for far too long. It's a, uh, it's make or break. Operation 10 Satchel Raid is officially underway. Oh my god, my heart is absolutely pounding. With only a few more satchels left to blow the wall, I was close to completing the raid. However, there was still no sign of the grub neighbours. Okay, we're in. We're in. This does not look good. This does not look good. Alright, I'm just going to seal. Uh, just, oh my god, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I need, to, I need to seal quickly. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Oh my god, I'm shaking like a dog. Oh my god, they're here, they're here. There's there's gotta be a few of them. I just gotta seal. I just gotta seal this freaking base. Okay. Oh my god. That was stressed. There's nothing in here. There's actually nothing in here. Holy hell. This was this was the worst raid in the world. They clearly just rage quit. Oh my god, and I've got nothing to craft a door with. A double door. I've only brought a single door, and I'm going to have to demolish that wall. And I know exactly what's waiting for me as soon as I demolish that wall. They've sealed the vending machine as well. Oh my god. I have waited so freaking long. It's nearly 10 minutes, so I, I just need to demolish. I'd like to think they're not outside. I'd like to think. Come on then, you little rats. Where are you? Eat some flames. Eat some flames, bitches. Come on, show yourself. Show yourself and I'll molly you in the face. I give up. I give up. Holy... F oh my god. This game. This game. Now, to say I was sad would be a little bit of an understatement. These players kept guns inside their base and only came out with grub weapons possibly three to four players in their base, this was the type of groups I expected at the spawn beach. 
I decide to call it a day for day two in hopes of better fortune for day three. I'm still upset. I'm still upset about the raid. I don't really care who I kill now. I'm killing everyone. I'm killing everyone on sight. I'm showing no mercy to any nakeds. Yep, I don't care anymore. I don't care. I've, this game's made me cruel. I was a nice guy. And now I've got a cold heart, just like my friend No Life. Just take a look at this picture. This is what he looks like. If I get violated from the raid, he gets violated as well. Everybody's getting violated. I'm too moody. I'm so moody. Look, there's the raid. I'm moody, man. I'm, I'm calling it a day. I am calling it a day. With the beginning of day three and the final day of the wipe, it saw some big moments in this wipe. Just to begin, I carried on growing cloth and selling it for scrap until I finally researched the auto turret and the windmill. And I also gave away the first raider base to two Russian kids who I made friends with. With a new fresh day came a new fresh mindset. We've come a long way guys, we have come a long way, and I'm proud, I am proud to say that I have built this wacky, crazy, funky base, definitely sending a screenshot to my friends. And just to think we started on the beach right here, spawned, and we've built this up in that amount of time, but still, I feel like, I feel like something's missing from this wipe. And just at that magical moment of thinking, I found that something. That's something that would get my heart beating. Because playing Rust, that's all we crave. The excitement, the story, the journey, and the thrill. You're probably wondering why I'm crafting satchels. Four of them for two doors. Now I'm going to show you why. I was AFK and I quickly saw something outside of my base. Which, if you remember from the first video on day one, you'll know that it was on my bucket list to do. Ladies and gentlemen, I see that tugboat just idly out there. Now while off camera, I have seen that thing moving about. So I know this player's actually in that tugboat and I'm just gonna full send it, I don't care. Sneaky solo coming up to your tugboat. All right, so there's no one in the driver bit, which must mean they're all inside. And with a DB, I have a chance. Alright, I'm in, I'm in. They're AFK. They're AFK. Oh my god. Oh my god, 1,200 scrap. All the cloth. All the crude. Nothing. Oh, the comps as well. Holy hell. i got to get out of here. i got to get the hell out of here. Oh my god, oh my god, my heart, holy hell, oh my god, what the hell, what the actual hell, Jesus man, that is, that is actually insane loot, that is crazy, I don't even have enough storage for all this loot, I, to be fair, I don't really need it, but it's more for the thrill of it. My time on the server was coming to an end. And like most of us playing Rust, we always want one more piece of action before we go. And that one more for me was a final send off before I left the server and made this video into a memory. Ooh, okay. Big, uh, big rocket raid. Maybe a nice little final showdown. Ooh, AK. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a bit rough. Looks like these guys are defending an online raid. Maybe I can maybe I can grab a few sneaky kits from this. I doubt I can do anything much more than that. Just need to get down and get a little bit closer because I'm I'm too far out at the moment. And there's players everywhere. I'm gonna have to go down and push. Hopefully I don't get hopefully I don't get caught. Oh god. Alright, okay. Oh alright. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm 3 HP. Holy hell, that was not the plan. 
I've got to heal up as much as possible and then and then loop back around. Uh, I didn't want to have to do that, but it'd seen me and it'd call me out. Alright, I'm sneaking up. Maybe I can catch a full kit. Full kit off guard, maybe? I'm not too sure. No way. No freaking way. No way. Oh my god, front row seats. Holy hell. Oh my god, what am I looking at right now? This is the beach spawn. This is literally two, three grids away from me. What the hell? Yeah, I'm probably dead. I am out of here. I'm out of here. I don't need, I don't know what he's saying. I need to get the hell out of here. This is no place for a solo player who likes building near Large Barn. I, uh, I don't belong here. I belong back with my farm in my, uh, in my vending machine. I can see a guy right in front of me. I just want to depot this gun. Alright, he should be dead. Maybe he was on his way to the to the raid, I'm not sure. Oh, he was hazzy baiting. He had no meds though, which is a, a bit weird, but he was probably on his way, but I'll uh, I'll kill the grub heading to the raid. Home sweet home. Okay, went out with a Tommy and came back with two Tommies from that from that raid. I don't think there's much I can do, but you know what? It kind of is what it is at this point. Just head back one more time with the old night vision. And uh, I'm desperate for a full kit. I really want one. Uh, he had absolutely nothing. Oh my god, I've just realized I'm starving to death. I haven't even realized. Holy hell. Oh no, the pickle. Yes, I got... Yes, I got it. I can finally move again. Alright, I think it's time, I think it's time to call it quits. The, uh, the raid is calmed down, no more boom going off. Just need to, need to get back to base. Ah, uh, these poor dudes, they just come out the cave after farming and they're still, uh, they're still prim locked on day three. Or well, they've just joined the server, but I, uh, ooh, I feel bad, but... You never know what a naked has. Home sweet home. Okay game. It's been fun. It's been amazing. And I've enjoyed the whole journey. I think it's safe to say at the end as well. From literally starting with with nothing. You know and, and not even picking a base location. Uh, and I couldn't even build a, you know, build a base that I wanted to build. It's literally... It's literally just been crazy. I've enjoyed the wipe. The raids have been awesome. There's been quite a few raids, um, and yeah, it's it's been it's been really cool. I've actually really enjoyed building the base and playing the wipe. But it's time to seal the bunker and uh, and call it time. Just gonna make sure I close all the doors, seal the bunker, so that this base doesn't get raided. I'll probably chuck it through the wipe and see actually when it does. Until then, I've got to say bye to my uh, to my Russian friends. They've not uh, they've not meet, featured much in this video, but they've been really cool off camera to hang around with. So shout out to you guys, and I'll see you all next time. I just want to say, if you've made it this far into the video, I salute you. I hope you've enjoyed this new style of editing and the storyline, from naked on the beach to a semi-rich solo, fighting his way through the groups and clans while having fun. Thank you to the members Rascal, Goose, Slits, Red August, Valentine, Fighting Coward, Max and Marco Polo. I've got some food to eat now and some relaxing to do, so I'll see you all next time.